Good evening friend and in this video we are going to discuss about the string since you know that in Java string is a class and uh, here I am trying to design a new class called string test and I'll be creating one variable and it can be the array so this is what is a public static string name so the name is the array of type strings and I try to initialize it with the name of some fruits so the mango apples etc so we are discussing in this program that how you can arrange logically the names of the elements of the array so i create a public static string name and this is a static set of a static variables and uh, the elements are of objects of type strings and i have placed the name of some fruits like the mango apples guava peach uh, grapes strawberry and uh, a few more or you can stop here also okay so let me add watermelon to it so this is the how i have one two three four five six and the plum so this way i have means initialize the static variables with the array names so this is because say the array already initialized and uh, next i don't need any class or object no any object actually for this because this is just already doing so i'll simply go for a function designing so that i can um, since you know that uh, functions are very important and the static variables can be accessed with the help of static functions only so i need to design a new static functions which is i'm just trying to name it as public static void main and it'll pass the string arguments the string args and this is also type array so this class it, it has one static array and one static function rest are right now not that important now i'll just try to show you that how you can work with them so i declare one integer variable int s and then i can find the size of this array so let me rename it better it becomes fruits so i just try to find out the name of the array and the size of the array so fruit dot length this function will give me the size of the array so this is right now in this given example there are just few limited numbers but in the real life you can have different type of and then i'm trying to arrange them like uh, these names in uh, alphabetical order so i created one string temporary value now i'll run a loop so for int i equal to zero i less than s i plus plus so this is our for loop and then inside this for loop i'll run another for loop and that will be int j equal to zero j less than is also s and j plus plus so two loops are running one is i and one is j and then inside the interior of the loop i'll just try to swap the values of arrays which are just uh, uh, not in the logical order so what is the logical order i want to place the arrays in ascending or descending order so i'll have to check the conditions so i'll use if statement for that so if fruit box j dot compare to means the first element of the array is compared to fruit box because this is the name of the this much and i so the first and if it is less than zero so now in the first condition you can see both i and j are zero so if it is less than zero means the fruit j is less than zero means when compared to functions if it giving you the less than zero it means the first string is lesser than the second string so if it is less then i'll compare i'll just store the value of like i'll try to swap the values so swapping for the swapping i'm using a temporary uh, temp which is also a string variable so first i store the value of i means the fruit i value goes into the temp and then the fruit i value will be replaced by fruit j value 
and initially in the first case you can say that the both are zero zero so first you can say it's just mango is comparing itself so there's no swapping because it's not going to give you the less than zero number so there are two loops this you have to keep in your head and if you just want to understand you can draw the sketches and you can see that the because first i loop will run and then it will get into the j loop and like suppose i is zero and j is less than zero so j is running many times again from the very beginning to the next so this way it can swap all the possible values so then you can print it how for i equal to zero i less than s so now you see the technique this is just displaying so it just only finally one loop will be there and that will be displaying for i equal to zero i less than s i plus plus but when I just try to pay attention to the logic of the swapping that the when i is zero the j loop will run one zero times one time at least you can say when i is one so it will run from zero to one so two type when the number of swappings will be quite more so this way you can swap the you just practice this program with the help of different arrays and then you can understand very easily it's not a very difficult program so i think everything is running and uh, just try to uh, explain you that this is a program which contains the static array and a static function so some error is there now what is the error whether should be the loop should be comparing the oh number now it's there's no problem so we can continue running so i'll run uh, compile create the object for this i'll just run because already values are there so now you see that it has been arranged in the decreasing order from the watermelon so let me clear the screen and uh, run it again so that you can see it's in, in ascending this is doing in descending order starting from the based on the sky values so here i go and then you'll find that it's displaying the results i think it's going behind the screen so let me yes so watermelon strawberry plum peach guava this has been all arranged in a logic order thank you very much just subscribe to our channel keep practicing practicing is more important than anything else